Hello beautiful flowers and welcome to my channel. If you are new, welcome and thank you so much for clicking on this video and if you're returning, welcome back and thank you for your support. In today's video, we are going to be budgeting my fourth and final paycheck of January. So let's just go ahead and get right into it. All right, so we have my worksheet in front of me here. I'm gonna zoom you guys in just a little bit. I should have done that before I hit record, but <laughs> that's okay. All right, so we are actually working with, for the first time, two income sources, <laughs> but not really. So we do have my husband's paycheck, and then I do have a bonus. So the hus my husband's paycheck was 1,494. And then I did get my bonus for the year, and that was after taxes and after 401k deferral and match, was 425. So that is awesome. That's way more than I got last year. So I'm grateful. <laughs> so our total um, amount that we are working with, so 1494 plus 425 is 1000. 919 which i think is honestly the most i have ever budgeted for so i think although zach did have a paycheck i think a few months ago that was around 1900 that we we're like huh eh? how so um let's go ahead and just jump right into our bills our expenses so we're gonna start with rent we always put 220 away towards rent that's a quarter of our rent for the month our utilities now okay I really need to quickly, I'm sorry, I should have done this before I um, did before I started. So we have 65 in there now. Um, however, I think I need to stuff like a hundred dollars in there because we have a heating, we have our internet bill that still needs to come out. And we also have a hundred dollar heating bill that's gonna come up next week. So I think I'm gonna have to do a hundred dollars in this. So thank goodness for my bonus coming in this week. <laughs> So we're gonna do 100 in utilities. All right, 35 goes to phone. And speaking of utilities, I started to go back to that. I think we're gonna to have to start doing like 50 in there a week. I know we've been doing 40, but I'm pretty sure we're gonna to have to do 50, maybe even 60 during the winter months, so. All right, subscriptions always gets 15, 10 or 15, neither one works. Parking always gets $20 and insurance will get its 50. So let's total up our bills for the week. Hopefully y'all can see my calculator. So 220, 135, 15, 20, and 50. 440. Uh, there goes my bonus. <laughs> Not really. All right, and then our cash envelope. So our amounts that we've been using for our cash envelopes for the past few weeks have been working rather good. So I'm gonna stick, um, I'm actually gonna go up just a tiny bit because we have a few essentials that we need to get for our groceries. So I'm gonna do 85 in groceries. And then eating out, I'm gonna do 65. Gas, I don't think I'll need gas, but I might as well get some. So let's do 70 in gas this week just so I can fill up. Um, my spending and Zach's spending will both be 30 this week. So let's go ahead and total up our cash envelopes. All right, $280 going towards our cash envelopes. On my husband's paycheck, since he gets paid a little bit more, I like to just do a little bit more towards our cash envelopes since so we have a little bit more breathing room. So let's go right over to our savings. So we always like to put $100 into our house fund. And we always like to put $50 into emergency. Let's move down to our 100 envelope. So I have my little slips to here to pick from. This is what's left of our 100 envelope. And since this is my bonus, since I do have a bonus in here and we have quite a bit of money to work with, I'm gonna think I'm gonna pick two and depending on the numbers, maybe even three, but we do have quite a bit of high numbers left. So we'll see. So we've got 65. We've been getting a lot of 60s lately. And 39. You know what? Let's do a third one. 39 is pretty low. I'm going to regret that. I know it. 48. Okay, okay. Those aren't bad. Those aren't bad. So we'll do these three. So 
let me see. I'm going to write these individually. So 48, 39, and 65. That way I don't forget which numbers to color in on my tracker. And I always leave these off to the side too um, until I stuff. So that is that. Okay, 52 week. I think we're on week four. Yeah, it's the fourth paycheck. So yeah, we're on week four. Um, our likes challenge, I'll go back to that because I once again did not charge my iPad, so I can't look at that. Um, so I have to get my phone, which I record with, but anyways. All right, our monthly challenge. So let me flip to that bad boy. So we're gonna be finishing off our new year, new money from Chris Budget's challenge. So I have this left to do. Each letter is $5, so 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. So $25 will need to go into, oops. Uh, things are falling everywhere. Um, $25 will need to go into that challenge. And then our weight loss challenge. I'm super excited about this one. So here is my large scale one and then I have a smaller mini one that goes in my binder. So last week I lost seven pounds, which is amazing, right? Obviously some of that was just because it was like my first week of like strict dieting and stuff like that. So um, this week I lost three pounds. So each loss is $5 or each pound is $5. So I'm gonna be adding $15 to our challenge this week which i think is great i think three pounds is still really awesome so i didn't gain any weight so that's great <laughs> all right and then let me really quickly check our likes challenge all right so at the time of me filming this my budget with me for the third paycheck of january has 37 likes so we're gonna be adding 37 dollars awesome that's great so let's go ahead and total up our savings amount so we have 100, oh, that's 1,000, 150, 48, 49. All right, $383. That's pretty good. And we'll kind of see where we're at with everything else because, you know, <laughs> there might be a lot of money going to the seeking funds and I might want to put maybe just a little bit more towards my house or emergency or something like that. So. Um, I did get an erasable pen. I don't know how well it works. Oh, looks like it works pretty well. <laughs> that was a good test. Um, so if I do need to, you know, redo any of this, I can. So I finally got that. So let me grab my sinking fund binder so we can go through and see which sinking funds I have trackers for, which sinking funds I know I have to put certain amounts in. So let's start off with the front of the binder. We have baby. So baby always gets $33. So I'm going to do that. Let's see. Electronics. So we do have a tracker for this one. So let's do kind of a high one this week since this is a larger paycheck. I think the largest number on here is a 50. So let's knock out one of these 50s. Let's go ahead and put 50 into electronics. Um, oh, I still need to erase this, um, but we do need to start our $100 date night over. So we are going to, um, let's put 40 into Valentine's Day. And then we will come back to these. All right, Black Friday. So um, I do want to knock out a large one. So let's do 30 into Black Friday. Knock out one of these large ones. And Christmas. Each one of these is 15. So let's go ahead and do 30 into Christmas. And Mother's Day, we always do 15 into Mother's Day. All right. And oh, and I can't forget furniture. So our goal for this month was to get furniture to 1,000. So it's currently at 938. So 1,000 minus 938. So we need to add 62 to furniture to get it to 1,000. So that is the last one that we have a guaranteed, you know, we know that one needs to get that amount. So what I'm gonna do now is I need to see how much we have left over in our budget so I can make adjustments. So I'm gonna deduct from our 1,919, I'm gonna deduct our bills, our cash envelopes, our savings, and then the sinking funds that we do know to see how much we have left. So let me do that really quick. All right, so 
if my calculations are correct, which they, when it comes to budget with me, they usually aren't, <laughs> I have 722 left to work with. Now this doesn't include my vacation binder. So what I'd like to do now is kind of set some money aside for our vacation binder. And I think what I'd like to do is, I wanna go ahead and do maybe, um, let's do like 221. 215. I know it's a random number, but yeah, 215. That way we can get around 500. And then I want to add some more to our house fund. I think it'd be great to add another 50 to that. So then I'm going to change this to 150. So we have 457 left to work with. So I'm just going to jot that down here because I need to adjust our savings total. Man, this erasable pen is really coming in handy. So 150 plus our 50 of emergency, 48, 39, 65, 4, 87, So our new savings amount is 433, which is correct. Okay, so 457. So we have 457 to work with for the rest of our sinking funds, which I think is plenty. We might even still have some left over. Okay, something went severely wrong <laughs> with my calculations. I don't know what it was, but we did not get 717. So um, what I'm gonna do is I am gonna start from the basis here. So we have 19, I'm gonna restart basically for my sinking funds. So 1919, we got 440, we got 280 for my cash envelopes, we got 433, and then we've got 215. Let's just do 200. Let's just do 200 for my vacation binder. Yeah, that 15 is making me real confused. So, okay. So 1919, 440, 280, 433, 200. So we should have $566 for our sinking funds. Now, we do have, you know, the ones that we filled out. So we have 566. So we have our 62 for furniture, we have our 33 for baby, our 50 for electronics, Valentine's Day, Black Friday, Christmas, and Mother's Day. So that is 306. Now that is more reasonable. So 306. Now thank goodness for my erasable pen because otherwise... I would have had to have written everything out again. So let's start by putting 20 into everything. Well, how much do we have? We have 300. So 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 80. Yes, okay. So let's do 20 into all of these. Uh, except Coffee gets 10, 20, 20, 20. I know I don't want to give YouTube 20. That's a slow growing one for giveaways. So that's going to get 10. Wow, this is a mess. <laughs> and then let's just do 20 and then these get five. Okay, so now let's add up sinking funds and see how much we have left over. Okay, so we have 515 and then we need five, we have 566 to work with. So we have $51. Hopefully we have $51 left to work with. So I know I wanted to put more in Costco. So let's put 40 into Costco. So minus another 20 on this. So 31. I know I wanted to put more into health. So let's put another 10 in health. Now this is much more reasonable. I thought how crazy it was. I must have not included my vacation binder the first time around. Um, 21 left to work with. Um, I wanna put more into car to build that back up after spending it. So what did I have in there? I had 20, so let's do another 10. 
So I have 30. And then 11, let's go ahead and give that to Zach and do 31 for Zach. Okay, so let's total this up and hopefully that equals the 566. Perfect. We got the 566. <laughs> Thank goodness. So 1919 minus 440 of the bills, 280 of cash envelopes, 566. Sorry if you can't see this of sinking funds, and 433 of savings, and that leaves our 200 of vacation binder. So finally we got this right. Something always seems to go wrong when it comes to my sinking funds. I think it's because I have so many of them. Honestly, I need to figure out a better way of doing this. Um, so yeah. So that is my entire video. Thank you so much for sticking through that with me. If you made it to the end, thank you so much. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button to add a dollar to my likes challenge. And I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.